Welcome to Electro Online. There are some very interesting and very useful applications when we're dealing with inequalities in two variables. Here is an example of that. And so what we're going to do is try to give you a graph or we're trying to figure out what a graph looks like when we have a problem like this. Each serving of steak contains 150 calories and each serving of vegetables contains 30 calories. Provide an inequality graph so that's what we have here, showing how to combine servings of meat and vegetables to provide a meal to contain at least 450 calories. So we're going to put a meal together that contains steak and vegetables, and the meal has to be at least 450 calories. So how many servings of each will that require? And of course, there's a number of combinations. So the way we do that is kind of setting it up the same way we set up for any type of word problem. We're going to let X and let Y be the number of servings. So in this case, let x, oh, well, that should be a t, let x equal the number of servings of steak. So number like that. And then we're going to let y equal the number of servings of vegetables. Okay, now that we have that, how do we represent the calories from steak and the calories from vegetables. So the calories from steak and then the calories from vegetables can be written as 150x and 30y. So that should make sense. If x is the number of servings of steaks and each serving has 150 calories, when we multiply them together, that gives us the total calories from steak and here we have y, the number of servings of vegetables, 30 is the number of calories for each serving of vegetable. So when we multiply them together, that should give us the total calories for vegetables. So now to get the total calories for the meal, we take 150x plus 30y. So this is the total number of calories from the steak plus the total number of calories from the vegetables. That should be greater than or equal to 450 because that's the minimum number of calories we should have in the meal and that we're going to graph just like we did before. So how do we do that? Well the first thing we want to do is we want to turn that into an equal sign. Now what you may also want to do is first put it in the format y equals mx plus b. So let's try that. So we get 30y greater than or equal to minus 150x plus 450 and then if we divide both sides by 30, we get y greater than or equal to minus 150 divided by 30, which is 5x, and 450 divided by 30, which is 15, plus 15. And so now we have it in a format that makes it easier to graph. Next, we'll change the greater than into an equal sign to find the boundary. So y is equal to minus 5x plus 15 to find the, bo the boundary. Okay, so the intercept is 15, that's right over here, and the slope is negative 5. That means we drop down 5 and go over 1, drop down 10, go over 2, drop down 15, go over 3. So we drop down 15, go over 3, right there. Another way to find the x, uh, the place where across the x-axis, let y equal 0, and then x will be equal to 3. So now we draw a solid line, and why a solid line? Well, a solid line because it includes the boundary as well. It can be equal to 450 or greater than. Now, which region is a valid region and which region is not a valid region? Well, for one thing, you can have negative portions of steak and you can have negative portions of vegetable. So in other words, we want x to be greater than or equal to 0. We want y to be greater than or equal to 0 simply because you can't have negative portions, which means it has to be everything to the right of the y-axis and everything above, uh, I should say, everything above the x-axis and everything to the right of the y-axis, which means that we can get rid of anything to the left of the y-axis and anything below the x-axis. And see how by crossing out what we don't want, it makes it simply easier to find the region that we do want. Now, what about the line right here? That 
has a region to the left, let's call it region 1, and a region to the right, let's call it region 2. We need to figure out which of those two regions satisfies the inequality when it comes to the line right here, when it comes to this inequality right here. And again, we pick a point, an easy point, let's pick the point 0, 0, and so we're going to test the point 0, 0 in region, that would be in region 1. Okay, let's plug 0, 0 into our inequality and see what we get. So 0 for y greater than or equal to minus 5 times 0 plus 15 question mark. We want to see if that's indeed a valid statement. So simplifying that, we get 0 greater than or equal to 15 question mark. And of course, the answer to that is no, 0 is not greater than 15 or even equal to 15. So therefore, we pick the test point in a region, region 1, that does not satisfy the inequality, so we get rid of that region as well. Which means the only region that we have left is, and I can increase the size of that a little bit, like this, it would be to the right of the y-axis, to the right of the line represented by the boundary of our inequality, and above the x-axis, so anywhere in here, we can put, all, put a meal together that gives us at least 450 calories. For example, let's go 4 and 5, like this. So this is 4 and 5, that's for x and y. So x is the number of servings of steak, and y is the number of servings of vegetables. So let's say I want to put a meal together with 4 servings of steak and 5 servings of vegetables. So for that meal right there, I get 4 times 150 calories, plus 5 times 30 calories, that would, be, uh, that would be 600, plus 150, so that's equal to 600, plus 150, which is 750 calories, so notice that's at least 450, which is what I wanted, and therefore that's a valid meal, a meal with 4 servings of steak, 5 servings of vegetables, will give me 750 calories. But now, what if I take a meal right here, the meal right there, where the, I have 1 and 5. So, that's 1 serving of steak and 5 servings of vegetables. So, 1 serving of steak of 150 calories plus 5 servings of vegetables of 30 calories, that's 150 plus 150, which is 300 calories, which is not at least 450. That's why in this region, I can't put a meal together where the... the meal will have at least 450 calories. I need to be on this side of the line, above the x-axis, and to the right of the y-axis. And so this is the region right here that provides combinations of meals that give me at least 450 calories. And that is how it's done. Where's the potatoes? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>